Okay, so uh, today's lesson is about empirical formula and molecular formula. So many of us know what molecular formula is. So if we look at the example here, molecular formula, we can C2H4 and C4H8. So empirical formula is the simplest form. So if you look at C2H4 and C4H8, I hope you are able to tell that CH2 is the simplest form. So I can represent uh, C2H4 as uh, in mathematical form 2 times CH2. So 2 times CH2 will get C2H4. Or uh, for the C4H8, I can do 4 times CH2. Okay? So, I repeat, empirical formula is actually the simplest ratio for any type of molecular formula. Right? So, we're looking at the simplest form. So, why do we want to know what empirical formula is? What, what's the point of empirical formula? So, let's take this down. Okay, the purpose of empirical formula is that if a compound has the same empirical formula, so let's say, for example, we are looking at C2H4 and uh, C4H8. We have established that it has the same simplest form, CH2, right? So compounds with the same empirical formula, right, would have the same percentage composition of elements. So C2H4, simplest form, empirical formula, is CH2. While C4H8, simplest form, our empirical formula, is also CH2. So both C2H4 and C4H8 have the same percentage composition of carbon and the same percentage composition of hydrogen. So this is actually very important. This is why we want to know how to find empirical formula and it will be very useful for you in the future. Okay, so let's take a look at some examples. So look, look at the first one. Find the molecular formula of a compound with a relative molecular mass of 56 and a empirical formula of CH2. So now I know that the molecular formula is a multiple of CH2. So it is some multiple, let's call it N, times CH2, what equals to the molecular formula. The only clue that we have about the molecular formula is that the relative molecular mass, or uh, MR, is equals to 56. Okay, so the strategy to do this question is to first find out what is the MR of the empirical formula. So the MR of the empirical formula is equals to 12 plus 2 times 1 is equals to 14. So now I know the MR of the empirical formula. I can find what is the factor that is multiplied with the empirical formula. The factor N multiplied with the empirical formula to give me the molecular formula. So the MR of the molecular formula is 56 while the M MR of the empirical formula is 14. So, with our math, we can tell that the N is equals to 56 divided by 14, which is equals to 4. So, what is the molecular formula? The molecular formula is the factor N multiplied with CH2. So, therefore, the molecular formula is equals to C4H8. So that's the first example. Okay, let's try another example. So the next example, the find the molecular formula of a compound with the relative molecular mass of 62 and the empirical formula of COH3. So again, the empirical formula is COH3 and 
multiply with some factor, let's call it n, will give me the molecular formula. And this molecular formula has a MR of equals to 62, given here. So what do I find out first? I first find out the MR of the empirical formula. After that, I find out what is N. And then after that, I'll do the multiplication to find out what is the molecular formula. So let's take these steps. So MR of the empirical formula is 12 plus 16 plus 3 times 1. So this is 28 plus 3, 31. The molecular formula is 62. So the factor N is equal to 62 divided by 31 equals to 2. So now I know the molecular formula is 2 times whatever that's over here. So I can write it as C2O2H6. Or you can write it with a bracket COH32. But you cannot put across here. You cannot write it as big 2 at the front. COH3. Because what does this mean is that the two things are not chemically combined together. They're just two units of the same thing. Okay? So, taking these steps, uh, please try to do step 6, a uh, 3, and D, and see whether you are able to solve these problems. Okay? Alright. All the best.